On this episode of the Armory, we're going to go over the Shut Vengeance VTD 2. Now to begin this overview, we're going to go ahead and state the facts. This is a 5-star Virginia Tech helmet and is also the number one ranked helmet on the Virginia Tech scale with a star rating of .189, far surpassing any of the other Virginia Tech rated helmets. Coincidentally though, this is the number six rated helmet through the NFL's safety test. Now the way Shut has achieved this is they've upgraded the VTD TPU which improves its impact absorption. It still has a single layer of TPU on the lateral and back of the helmet, which is ribbed to help increase impact absorption. Nothing's changed there other than the fact that they have tweaked how the material works to improve how it rates on the VTD scale. They have kept the dual compression TPU on the front of the helmet by improving both the TPU itself and the padding underneath the SureFit airliner. As you can see, the shell has stayed the same. There's no reason to try to fix something if it ain't broke. They still have the nice aggressive mohawk. Again, always stands out with the vengeance. Comes with the twist lock. You can also opt out to go with regular clips, but the twist lock is a standard on this helmet. And they've also kept the flexural resistance back shelf design in the helmet, which just aids in any of those back of the head hits. Going back to the inside of the helmet, they have upgraded the SureFit airliner. Although it still looks the same with this nice silver TPU skin on both the jaw pads and the SureFit airliner, they have upgraded the foam underneath the airliner to help aid in impact absorption, while not sacrificing that pillow-like feel that the Vengeance is known for, because this is a very comfortable helmet. Now with all these tweaks being added to the helmet, weight becomes the issue at hand, but it's not an issue with the Vengeance VTD2. The weight right out of the box is only 2.95 pounds. Now that is without a face mask, but 2.95 pounds for a helmet with this much technology and safety in it is well worth the weight. Vengeance does have its own specific line of face masks that do have the eyebrows that work with the mohawk of the helmet. But again, if you don't like the eyebrows or you don't like any of the face mask styles that the Vengeance offers, you can wear an XL Super Pro face mask. Now as far as price, this Vengeance, just like the DCT, comes in right at $254.95, and that is on sportsunlimited.com. So to wrap this up, this has been an overview of the Shut Vengeance VTD2. Thanks for watching the overview. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, maybe a share if you don't mind. Remember, if you want anything else reviewed or if you have any ideas, leave that in the comment section below. And we appreciate you watching the Armory.